Uganda is set to host the 10th East African Petroleum Conference and Exhibition. This will run from 9th to 11th May 2023. This was revealed by the State Minister of ICT, Godfrey Kabianga, as he addressed journalists in Kampala. Ahumza with more. This year's East African Petroleum Conference and Exhibition will be hosted by Uganda under the theme East Africa's Hub for Investment in Exploration and Exploitation of Petroleum Resources for Sustainable Energy and Socioeconomic Development. The conference comes at a time Uganda and Tanzania are at the verge of developing the East African crude oil pipeline from Hoima in Western Uganda to Tanga in Tanzania. Uganda is hosting of the 10th place is coming at the opportune time, especially at this point in time when the country has just achieved the final investment decision for the upstream and East African crude oil pipeline projects and is also concluding the second licensing round and undertaking studies to open up new areas for petroleum exploitation. According to engineer Habati Mugisi from the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development, the conference will be attended by close to 1,000 participants from different East African states. This one will bring, will, the, it's expected that it will attract over 1,000 participants here in Uganda and these will include members of the different states, the East African states, because this is a, a conference organized by the government. The conference will attract private sector investors, it will attract academia, civil society and members of the fourth estate, the media. It will be a very big opportunity for Uganda, in particular the host, to showcase the developments and the plans we have for developing and exploring. Just like the theme is, we are promoting East Africa as a hub for investment in exploration and exploitation of petroleum resources for sustainable energy and social economic development. Mugizi says the conference will help in promoting investment and also have the East African countries move in a harmonized manner. For provision of the security deposit, we are proposing that to operate a Forex Bureau, you need a security deposit of 50 million shillings. This has not been there. No, uh, we are saying to operate a um, a money remittance business, you need 50 million shillings and for, for Forex bureaus, you need to have a security deposit of 25 million shillings. On the other hand, the Minister of State for Finance and Economic Development, Henry Msasizi, also revealed that Cabinet has resolved to amend the Foreign Currency Act 2004. 